I remember seeing people going nuts on Instagram about your Rolex. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to be posted online like that. <laughs> the jewelry side too, but hey. I, still, I mean, I don't regret the decision, but yeah. it definitely I don't need it. Like, how did you, like, like you got to give me some context. Like, why, like, when right, did so you just like, were like, I want to buy a Rolex today? Well, a bunch of, a bunch of guys on the team had it. And Ebron was like, yeah, you look good iced up. So I was like, all right. You can't listen to Ebron on money decisions, dude. So, I mean, I think I look good in it, but it's definitely a dumb purchase. It was a dumb purchase and definitely regret it, but. Do you want to give us some numbers on, like, what it cost? <laughs> just buy <fine. laughs> I'm just buying I just, you know, a lot of people watching this are probably James Franklin fans, and Franklin's meant a lot to my career. I mean, he's yeah. helped me a ton in, in coaching, and whether it's coaching or media or anything yeah. I was doing. And I'm sure you guys were close. I yeah. know you were. Yeah, me yeah. and him were really close. I think the one thing that stood out to me about Franklin is not, I mean, there's a bunch of stories, but I think the one thing that stood out to me about him and his program is that he cares about the players and the coaches. Yeah. He doesn't just, like, he, he says it, and then he doesn't just go do the opposite thing. I think that he really, truly yeah. means what he's saying and like what he does I think you know if you follow his process and his steps to be successful in a, as a man yeah. and as a football player I think you're going to be set up for you know, great success I think a lot of the greats of Penn State have, have done that like Mike and Saquon no doubt. Yeah. And, and all those guys I think they follow that process and I think um, if you do that then you're going to be set up for you still remember the four core values Positive attitude, work ethic, compete everything you do, and must be willing to say. That's the best, isn't it? Uh, I'll never forget those till oh, the day I die. Every single day, every single day you walk in a team room, you have to look at you the, gotta, the yeah. side of the wall. When on draft night, when you got the call from yeah. Pittsburgh, was that like was that like where you wanted to go? Were you or you just didn't really you didn't really so care at that point? I didn't or? care. I yeah. really thought I was gonna go to Jacksonville. Really? With, with Coach Bowen and yeah. I mean, they called me and they were like, "Hey, we're gonna draft you at this spot." What spot was that? Four five. Okay. So I. Came but you wanted to go before said, that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they said the pick was in, and I was like. I think I look at my phone. I think I called from Jacksonville. Like, yeah. So I was like, all right, whatever. And then I thought I was gonna end up at Tennessee at fifty three, and then they didn't call. I was like, all right, this is ridiculous. So I shut my ringer off. Yeah. And my dad went down to get like do the recycling or whatever because I went yeah. to my house. And my phone started buzzing from Pittsburgh. I I really thought it was like Bowers calling me. <laughs> and so like I'm being, I got a new phone. And yeah. so I answered and. He's like, this is Mike Tomlin. I'm like, what? And so I was like, all right, words. So like, <laughs> That's great. Get by Pittsburgh. <laughs> why, why didn't Jacksonville take you with 45? I'm happy I didn't go there. I know, but like, well, like, why didn't they? I don't know. I, I, never got the, I never got the explanation yeah. from Tebow, but definitely happy I didn't go there. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you a little salty that you missed out on the NIL, the name, image, and likeness stuff? Uh, I am, but I'm not. I yeah. mean, I th obviously, it'd be cool to make a couple extra bucks in, in college and stuff like that, but I think, in my honest opinion, I think eventually, I don't know if it'll get backlash from this, I think it's going to ruin college football. Yeah, I, I, think I agree. Netflix. I think it, it's, so, it's such a sticky yeah. situation, I think. It, it's going to hurt recruiting. It's going to hurt. Transfer portal is going to hurt recruiting. Yeah. It, it, I think it's a mess right now, and I think, you know, there's going to be more and more cases of guys that just don't, who have like don't ever get to their potential because they're so caught up on the wrong things. No doubt. Yeah. And I think like me personally, like the guy kind of guy I am, like I, I just I like to play football and it's just an outlet for me to go out and play and, yeah. and I love the game. So I think when you add these other layers onto it, there's okay now I have to worry about like getting money. Now I have to worry about you know hiring someone. Yeah. And I think an agent. Yeah. Exactly. I think guys are gonna get into trouble with like who they sign with and not reading the contract. And it's just I, to me, it's just gonna be a sticky situation. Yeah. Did you have like a, a welcome to the NFL moment? Oh yeah, my Where, first play. I was talking about. Yeah, that was, I was They're just the whole. Thing, yeah, I came off the sideline. It was in Philly. Philly friends. Were yeah, and they probably know who you are, allowing because yeah. of Penn State fans. Yeah, you're just yeah. screaming at you. Yeah, it was, I was like, I was struggling for a little. Yeah, bit. <laughs> I love it. What what's like the craziest recruiting story you have? Like anything yeah, wild so, happened? I mean, I went from Syracuse to Penn State practice, yeah. and it was just so different. I was standing on the sideline, and Naeem Wartman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he came out to me and was like, uh, he's like, what position you play? I'm like tight end, and he was like, oh, I, I mess up tight ends. I'm like, <laughs> All right, and so then he walked away, and I was like, okay, this is yeah. ridiculous, but yeah, it was it was cool. Was he was talking shit to the oh, recruits. Absolutely. Yeah, so it was funny, but it was, it was, it was cool. That's great.
you know, watching your watching your season, that was kind of the first like big point of adversity you had in your career with the fumble. You know, oh, like, that was a Lions. Game. Oh, Lions game. I'm sorry. Yeah, Lions game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was definitely. What tough. What was that like? Yeah. It was definitely tough. I mean, that yeah. was. I mean, I was talking to my brother about it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It was that was the toughest experience I've ever faced because college and, and high school and even up to that point, I've never really been in a situation where you know, in my mind, that cost us the game. Yeah. Um, obviously, everyone's gonna say there's other plays we could have won it, but in my mind, that play lost us the game. So, you know, it was definitely tough just kind of the next couple of days going in the building, but you know, the guys on the team were great. And yeah. You mentioned the Muth thing when yeah. everyone's, you know, after you after you have a catch, everyone in the stadium, Muth. First of all, how did that start? Yeah. And do you like it? <laughs> oh, I love it. It gives me energy. It's, it's yeah. cool. Like, whenever I catch the ball, I know I hear it, and it's, it's making me run harder. It's yeah. like that. So, it's, I mean, it's awesome. I always want the ball in my hand just to hear it. It started, so when Heath was there, he'd all, people, whenever he cut the ball, would make Heath. Heath, yeah. And so, when I got drafted, everyone started, like, I saw it on Twitter, something like that, like, Muth, all that kind of stuff. Got it. And then, like, okay. I caught my first catch in camp, and I heard a little bit of it, but, like, it just kind of grew, so up, going. <laughs> started growing up the, the year, and it was, it was, I started hearing the way stadium was cool. That was, that was cool, yeah. but, you know, it's, it, it's fun. It's, it's fun to hear. Yeah, because now you can hear it, like, on TV. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. loud now. Yeah. yeah. Who's the best player you've played against th this past season? Oh, like who like you're thinking like he really jacked me up a couple of times or couldn't get open you're, uh, gonna, you're gonna say that never happened but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Derwin James is a hell, hell of a player I think it's physical yeah, right yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's, he's tough I think I think obviously in the blocking game Miles Garrett yeah obviously he's a freak um, so I think those two guys really obviously stood out to me I think Derwin James stood out to me a lot just yeah. how he competed and 